is Julia Deville and I'm a jeweller and a taxidermist. I create sculptures from taxidermy animals that are decorated with jewellery, materials and techniques. And I'm also moving towards um, holography and 3D work. One of the important aspects of my work is the precious materials combined with the taxidermy work. Um, I use diamonds, rubies, gold, silver, um, pearls, whatever suits the piece um, and most people consider those things to have value and be extremely precious and they do but as a jeweller and as an artist they're not intrinsically precious to me because they're extremely available. I can go to my supplier and I can buy whatever diamond I want or whatever gemstones I want and I have access to gold and all of that so although I think they're beautiful materials and I love working with them they're not precious in that sense of rarity. Whereas the taxidermy and the animals, because I only work on animals that have died of natural causes, they are extremely precious. Like I can't just decide I want to do a baby giraffe. I have to wait till something that has died of natural causes comes to me. And then to take that a step further, the actual life of the animal while it was alive is even more precious. And the life of anything is ultimately the most precious thing and that comes back to this consciousness and this wholeness and this interconnectedness and I think empathy is one of the strongest human drives and I think that's kind of implicit in all of us. My taxidermy works are exploring ideas of consciousness because it's obviously a dead body but it's been posed in a way with glass eyes and expression to make it look alive and so it tricks the viewer into feeling like it is alive but it definitely isn't and so it plays on questions of of what is real and what's not real and how we relate to to life and death and consciousness and there is a big theme of time throughout this exhibition and this idea of becoming and I guess you know, that idea in quantum physics that time is not linear and it's all kind of spread out and so there's a blending of like youth and, and teenage years, um, there's a blending of history and Victoriana with like modernity and holograms and technology. The exhibition is predominantly going to be immersive. Um, I'm recreating London as a historical house as like rooms of a house so there will be a bedroom like a child's bedroom that is kind of a self-portrait piece um, there'll be a dining room which will have some of the food themed works in it and then there will be a room with the zebra probably and there will be um, a couple of hologram rooms I guess in a way it's juxtapositioning old and new and futuristic and past but also showing that it's all interconnected and it's really just one and the same.